If you want an easy meal prep recipe that you can enjoy throughout the whole week, you've got to try this Instant Pot Turkey Breast. In today's video, I'll show you how simple it is to cook a whole turkey breast in the pressure cooker and then slice it or shred it to use in salads, wraps, or sandwiches throughout the week. And if you're looking for more easy Instant Pot recipes, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted anytime I upload a new video. This recipe that we're making today is just perfect for back to school or if you're looking to make some easy meal prep work week lunches. This is truly one of the easiest recipes you'll ever make. I've been making it almost every week. Let me show you exactly how I do it. So we're ready to cook our turkey in the Instant Pot and the first step is to put the trivet inside because the trivet is going to hold the turkey breast from the bottom and so the bottom of the turkey will not burn. And actually what I also like to do, this is a little tip, because the turkey is quite large and it will touch the side of the pot, so I like to spray it just with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray, just so we don't get any um, burning of the turkey. And with any pressure cooker recipe, we have to add some liquid, at least one cup. So I'm adding one cup of water. It can be a little bit hard to find fresh turkey breasts, but I have noticed that at Trader Joe's and at a lot of other major grocery stores, you can find fresh turkey breasts all throughout the year. This turkey breast does have the bone in it, which will make it more flavorful. Um, you could also use boneless, but I do recommend doing a bone-in turkey breast. This one has a little bit of skin on too, which we can just peel off. Um, you'll see how easy it is to shred once it's cooked. This may not be very graceful, but we're gonna plop this turkey breast onto the trivet. Let's see how it goes. Ready, and there, oh, it goes. Again, it's just touching the side, but it'll be fine, it won't burn. Um, and so we're just going to lock on the lid. Now, uh, don't make the mistake of undercooking your turkey. I did that one time and it turned me off from turkey for quite a while. So I think the minimum amount of time to cook a turkey breast should be 30 minutes. So um, because I had that bad experience, I think I'm going to set it for maybe 32 minutes and then we'll just make sure that it's cooked all the way through. So I'm gonna set the time at high pressure. So there we go. We'll set it to 32 minutes. Start, it starts automatically. And so we're gonna let the pressure cooker do its thing. And then what we will do is let the pressure, let the pressure come down naturally for about 10 minutes and then we'll remove the lid. We'll see you back here in 32 minutes. And while we're waiting for the turkey to cook, I wanted to ask you, what have you been making in your Instant Pot lately? Leave me a comment below with your favorite food item or ingredient or anything that you'd like to see me make in the Instant Pot. I love to do healthy makeover recipes. The Instant Pot has finished, so let's remove the lid. I did let the pressure come down naturally for about 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and take off the lid. There we go. Wow, it already smells like Thanksgiving in here. And I can see that the turkey has cooked perfectly. And it's not gonna get browned like a Thanksgiving turkey. That's not really the point. What we're really trying to do is just get our perfectly cooked turkey so then we can shred it. We can use it in all kinds of recipes. You could use this in um, like enchiladas or just a wrap or on top of a salad in a sandwich, there's just so many ways. And again, I think it's really healthy to have a whole food cooked like this at home. It's a lot more budget friendly than buying the pre-cooked turkey and it's healthier too. So what I like to do is remove the turkey using tongs and I put it in a big bowl. And then what I like to do then is use the tongs and a fork to transfer the cooked turkey to a smaller bowl. So let's go ahead and remove our turkey. There we go. Just like that. And then the instant pot can go away. And then we just have our cooked turkey and we're going to shred it and put it in our container that we can keep in the refrigerator. And cooked turkey will keep for up to about five days. So it's a perfect meal prep recipe. So 
you can see that it just comes apart like this. It is perfectly cooked. If you want to shred the turkey, then you can do that when it's in the bowl like this. You just take the fork and the tongs and you just kind of go like this. And that is it. That is our easy instant pot turkey breast. I mean, you could absolutely serve this for Thanksgiving, but I think it is just great for a healthy meal prep recipe. And if you like this one, then don't miss my playlist of my other easy gluten-free instant pot recipes. I think you're gonna love that playlist and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Please do sub subscribe. <laughs> I also wanted to pop in. So in this case, I'm going to use, so um, this may not be very, uh, um, what's the word? Okay, so now, <laughs> so we'll see you back here in 32 to 40 minutes.